relevance. So relevance answers the questions, who is it for? And uh, why should I care about it? Yeah. So if I'm on your website, I want to understand not only what is this, but also like, who are you and who am I? Like, who is this for? If I'm a product manager, are you for product managers? If, or it doesn't need to be about titles. It might be also about the desired outcome. I want to, I don't know, do uh, implementation of GA4. And like, oh, we are for people who want to implement GA4, right? You want to make it clear who is this is for so I can relate to that. Oh, this is relevant. This is the problem that I'm working on. Or you have a problem statement or a benefit statement. Yes, that's the problem I'm solving right now. Or that, yes, that's the desired outcome I'm working on right now. You're like Double your SEO traffic in 30 days. Ooh, exactly what I want, right? Make it clear. So clear who it is, maybe by title, or maybe by problem or the desired outcome. How do you get these things right? Obviously, this starts with jobs to be done research. You need to understand what are the desired gains and the pains they want to avoid. Without that, you can't have a relevant website. If you just talk about your features without creating that context around who is it for and which problem it solves, it's going to be irrelevant for a lot of people. Hence, relevance is a second most important part of messaging. And again, how do you uh, find out how people describe the problems, benefits? You do review mining through, you know, you go into G2 reviews, Captera reviews, and so on. Another thing about relevance is what is the order of content on your page, on your homepage, for instance? What's above the fold? What's in the second block, the third block, and so on and so forth? It shouldn't be random. It shouldn't be based on how the designer designed it, because also the design should always come after the copy, the messaging has been done. So you want to know the order of priorities for the target customer. What is the biggest problem? What is the second most uh, biggest problem? What is the third biggest problem? And so on and so forth. And you, you create, you order the content blocks accordingly. Once I was running a message just for winter.com's homepage. And I, for each content block, you know, above the fold and so on and so forth, I had them rate each block for how useful is it on a five point scale, how clear is it, and how much do you care about it, right? I had them rank them. And what I found was my third block from the top scored the best. Everything else was kind of eh, mediocre. That's kind of nice, but who cares? But the third block was like, oh, yeah, I want that. These are the benefits I want. These are the problems I have. Really resonated with people. So once I learned that, what did I do? I changed the content hierarchy. I moved that content up higher up in the hierarchy because that's, you know, when people start scrolling, the further down the page you go, you lose traffic, you lose people. So you want to establish relevancy as soon as possible.